Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell for more videos. Today's video will be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Eva Wigs. I'll have all of their information, promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that we will be working with today is a 14 inch bob with 150% density. It does come with HD lace, which is the thinnest lace on the market, which means that this is the most natural hairline and it does melt into your skin. The knots have been pre-plucked for you and the knots are also bleached for you. I do have six inches of parting space on this wig, combs, a removable elastic band, and an adjustable strap. All right, so let's jump right into this tutorial. So here's how the wig looks when you first take it out of the package and you put it on your head. I love the density of it. It's a very natural density. The hair on this wig is so, so, so soft. I love the natural luster and shine to it. I do want to show you guys how the hairline looks when you first take it out. It is pre-plucked, so you do not have to do anything else to the wig, but I do want to take that extra step of plucking a little bit more hairs from the hairline. So I am going to do the zigzag method of plucking from the beige method. Of course, you know, I have a full tutorial on this, so I'm not going to go too deep into the tutorial but I do want to show you guys the before and after all right so we will be bleaching this wig first the first thing that I'm going to grab is a mixing bowl and then I'm going to grab a 20 volume developer. I am pouring that 20 volume developer into my mixing bowl and then I'm going to add that powder bleach to the developer. For time's sake, I did not record the process of me bleaching the hair, but I do want to show you guys the results. So this is the color that I decided to um, lighten the hair to. I did leave the bleach on the hair for about 20 to 25 minutes washed it and now I am ready to apply the dye. So I'm gonna grab one bowl and in that one bowl I will be mixing number 30, Ginger by Adore, as well as a little bit of Cajun Spice, number 56, also by Adore. And I am going to use that color on the roots of this wig and this is basically going to turn that hair like a ginger orange spice color and for the bottoms of the wig I do have a second bowl and in that bowl I'll be mixing copper brown number 76 by Adore as well as rich amber number 78 also by Adore and I will be just using that for the bottom halves of this wig and that's going to give me that reverse ombre color that I'm looking for because these colors go in sequence you are able to do like the ginger color first at the roots and then add the Cajun spice in between before you get to the copper brown hair color if you want more of a gradual hair color. But I, I don't want a gradual hair color with three different colors in one. I want it to look like a color block, if that makes any sense. So I want half of the hair to be one color and the other half to be one color. And I don't want it to be a smooth transition but you do have that choice if you want to you know have it more of a smooth transition you can use three different colors so it'll be ginger cajun spice in the middle and then at the bottom you can use that that concoction of copper brown and rich amber but i just choose to do a color block for this particular hairstyle and this particular hair coloring process
I love the results of it. I feel like this hair looks super, super, super cute straight. If I was to do a straight bob, I think that this would be really, really, really cute and trendy. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and darken the roots a little bit because I feel like I want it to be a reverse ombre, but I want my roots to be a little bit darker so that it can match my own natural hair color or at least the bottom half of the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some black eyeshadow and I am just gonna darken the roots with that shadow. Now that that's done, I'm gonna grab my waver and I'm just going to wave this hair in sections. Finally, it's time to install this wig. I'm grabbing the wig. I'm going to make sure that it is in the proper placement. Then I'm going to clip back the left and right sides of this wig so that no hair is in my face, making sure that that frontal is lined up where my ears are. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and then I'm going to cut two slices into the frontal and that's going to create three different sections of this wig. I'm going to apply got to be gel in the yellow tube and then I am going to blow dry it just so that it's tacky. I'm getting the wig. I'm placing it down onto that got to be. I'm I'm using my comb to help me place it into the got to be. I'm going to repeat those steps for the left and right sides of this wig and then I am going to place my headscarf on for a few minutes. I am going to take the headscarf off and then cut that extra lace off. <laughs> And here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check down below in the description box for more information, promo codes, and direct links to this company. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. In October, it feels like summertime. I keep falling for you like every night. Been communicating through satellites, yeah. Black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day It's Bezozai Yeah, that's right It's Bezozai Ay, ay, ay